channel this is Angelique with all things Ange. today we are going to be making white chocolate covered strawberries earlier today I did a video on the dinner that I cooked so if you have not seen it take a look at that video it was some braised cabbage some corned beef and some cornbread what I didn't mention in that video was that we were having white chocolate strawberries for dessert so I am doing the video now on that so you guys can check this video out and then you can go check that one out if you have not seen it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit the bell to be notified for any videos I upload in the future hit the like button if you like this video and you want to see more like it and definitely share me with your friends and your family okay so we are going to dive right into this white chocolate strawberries are my absolute favorite my fiance usually gets those for me from a little place out in Covington called scoops they make delicious white chocolate strawberries it's almost like four dollars a strawberry so I'm like you know what I can make my own strawberries so he went out and found these really big strawberries for me look at them they are so big and pretty and I have already prepped them and cleaned them and they have been drying on some paper towels for a while because you definitely want them to be nice and dry when you do this and so these big beautiful strawberries are what we're going to use we will be using some chocolate little disc white chocolate disc to melt to put on our chocolate strawberries we will be decorating it with some regular chocolate some nuts and coconut i am not a huge fan of coconut however i love coconuts on white chocolate strawberry don't ask me why i absolutely love it on white chocolate strawberries so we will be putting some coconuts on some of our strawberries so again, I have already taken the liberty to clean my strawberries and we are just going to melt this chocolate in the microwave. Um, I think my son has some stuff in here, so we're gonna take that out. And we are going to find a nice container to melt our chocolate in. We're gonna use this container to melt our chocolate in. And this is just very, very simple. It's nothing hard to this. I just melt it in the microwave and just turn it because they come out they look like this let's see if I can get you to see them there uh, this is what they look like but they're like little bitty you know like little disc and we got these from Walmart I think some from Walmart and some from Kroger's but they sell them all over so you can pretty much get them anywhere I usually put them in a microwave and I usually start off like at about 35 seconds on it and then I do increments of like depending on how much I need to melt them after I do them I'm trying to get my time together here there we go um so then I just kind of look at it, engage it to see if I need to do it a little bit more. And I usually do it like five or 10 seconds because what you don't want it to do, you don't want it to get clumpy. So, you know, yeah. I'm gonna get a spoon to stir it with. And I just take mine, I put on wax paper, put it on this little pan here. I use these sticks or you can use skewers I've used skewers a lot but I have these in my little pastry little container so we'll be using these they're a little bit more sturdy than the skewers the wooden skewers it needs to get some more and then when we're ready when that comes out I just pretty much Stick it in there, which I kind of push this one all the way through. You don't want to do that. You don't want to push it all the way through because you want it to be able to hold on to this. There we go. Since I pushed it through, I just took it out and did it again. You know what? I'm thinking I might just use the skewer. Only because the one thing about the skewer is it has that little point and it, it goes in a lot smoother. Yeah. 
Queen is the skewers. So let's see what we got here. It has started melting. Still need to go some more. But I'm going to stir it up. As you can see, it's melted a lot. I'm actually going to put... get a little salsa to put that spoon on. I'll put it in just a little bit longer because you want it to be loose. You don't want it to be thick. Right now it's a little too thick. We're only going to do 20 seconds this time as opposed to the 30. So, so far for one of these containers, I've done 60 seconds on it and I just put in another 20 which I just let it go halfway. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll just let it go for the other 10 seconds, and then I think that is going to be a wrap for it. I think we'll be ready to dip. Yep. Yep. That is a wrap. Oh, yeah. Nice. Still got some clumps in it though. I want it to kind of just run smooth. I'm afraid to let it go any further. We'll just deal with it like this. We'll make this work. So then I just take the strawberry and just swirl it around in there like that. Making sure I've caught every single side of it. These strawberries, strawberries are really big. And then once you get it, you just stick it on there and twist out your skewer and move on to the next one. And twirl, twirl, twirl. Just twirl it alone. And usually once I get like so many done, because you want to add like your toppings on there while the chocolate is still, you know, wet so it can stick. So I'm going to add coconuts to these, to this roll. And it's just little coconut shavings and I just drop it on. And again, you want to do it while it's wet because that way it sticks. So now we're going to do some more and I'm probably going to put nuts on these. Try to move a little fast with it because, again, you don't want the chocolate to clump up on you or to set up on you because then it's harder to work with it. But this is so much better than, pay than paying like four darn dollars uh, strawberry. Like this whole carton was probably four dollars. And then I think we paid like $2.99 each for, for the, the chocolate, which isn't too bad. I mean, when you break it down and then the nuts wasn't that expensive in the coconut. And that's not even getting coconuts and nuts on it. That's just straight chocolate for $4 each. Crazy. These I'm going to put nuts on and I feel like I need to add um, more chocolate in there because it's getting a little thick on me. So I'm definitely going to add more chocolate. 
more chocolate. Milk some more chocolate. Again, you want to catch it while it is. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Like, I'm thinking I'm going to run out of chocolate because, yeah, it's almost to that point. I'm hoping because I don't think I've ever like added chocolate to it. Usually I let it run out and then I start with a fresh bowl, but yeah, we're gonna try. I probably could have just left it in here. Michael, yeah. Actually, I could have left it in here and did it in that, which probably would have made more sense. I'm just hoping that the chocolate I warmed up already doesn't get clumpy at the bottom because then it's gonna be ugly and it's gonna ruin the chocolate I just put in it. But I never did it like this before, so I guess we'll find out what's going to happen. Let us hope that it just works really the best. It hasn't gotten clumpy at the bottom, but it definitely needs to go in again. So maybe because I added, that helped it not to be clumpy. So I put it on for 40 seconds this time. So we're gonna do 30 seconds. And we'll go on and do this one since I kinda of jacked it up so much. But these are looking pretty good already. Hopefully I didn't leave it in too long. Nope, we're good. No clumps. No clumps whatsoever. So just gonna mix it because the container is kind of warm to help milk with it and milk. see how many we can get I'm trying to make sure I get the really big ones what's the point of having these big beautiful strawberries and we don't get the big ones Sure, that's probably a different way to dip these, but this is the way I know, so this is how I'm doing it. Of course, if y'all know a better way, I'm always up for some advice. And I definitely welcome it. I'm going to add some more coconut. While it's still wet, do some more coconut ones. Since I really do enjoy those, I'll do these because they're, they're wet. 
And the thing when you put the chocolate swirls on, it doesn't matter if the if the strawberry dries up some. That that don't matter. It's only the ones that you put in the nuts and the coconut on that you want the, the icing to be a little wet for. I think we might just make it uh we'll get most of these done we won't have many left if we have some left it won't be many at all we're down to like our last four strawberries counting this one Might look a little jinky, but they're gonna taste pretty good. Two more left. We'll do the next largest one and then we'll see if we can get that small one. I think we can. I really do. I'm feeling hopeful. Oh, come on. one we'll squeeze it in somewhere right here and we'll add some nuts so that's the last one I do add some nuts to these Ones. All right. All right. So the last thing we're going to do, as you can see, they're all on here now. I am going to melt some chocolate so I can just put some chocolate swirls on these four. The chocolate swirls isn't my favorite. I just do it just for the decoration of it. But yeah. So we'll do that and we'll put this back in the cabinet for next time. We don't need much of these, so I'm literally going to see if I can just melt it in the plastic right here. And then we'll cut a little small hole at the bottom. We'll cut a little small hole at the bottom to make swirls. And then we'll sit it in here. Like this. Then try to melt. And we'll get our scissors. We'll put just a little small hole at the bottom. And make some swirls. Ooh, 
that's actually melting the plastic bag. Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's melting our plastic bag. We don't want that to happen. So we'll do it in a container here. We'll make it work. Okay, y'all, that didn't work, so we'll melt it in here. And then we'll just use another bag. I have quite a few of these, so it's all good. pastry bag in this cup here like this and we're gonna dump it right in there once we melt it a little bit more Yes, baby. I am making chocolate covered strawberries. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> my wonderful daughter and my beautiful grandbabies just came in. So. Now we're going to put just a little bit of a hole in that. And then watch the magic. Just watch the magic. Just some magic. Across the berries. And there you have it. And there is our beautiful strawberries. And it sure beats paying $4 a strawberry. So kudos to my boo thing for picking up these beautiful strawberries and all of this white chocolate so I can share this video with you guys. So if you have not made chocolate covered strawberries before, it's just that simple. It has been less than 20 minutes since we made this, probably 15. You can see how easy it is. It's nothing difficult at all to it. You can save your pocket some money instead of going to like, what is that, edible arrangements, and you can make your own strawberries. There you have it. I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. Hit the bell so you can be notified when I create more videos like this. And definitely share me with your friends and family. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.